the deceitful way the interview was obtained substantially influenced what my mother said. In the bombshell interview with Bashir, Diana revealed shocking details about her failed marriage to Prince Charles. She admitted they were both unfaithful and had choice words for describing the prince's relationship with his mistress turned future wife Camilla Parker Bowles. When Diana made that famous comment about there being three people in her marriage, that was sensational because it was the first time she had confirmed it. The princess also divulged that royal life had led to her eating disorder and self-harm. The interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse. Shortly after the scandalous sit-down aired, the queen insisted Diana and Charles get a divorce, which resulted in losing her royal highness title and the security that came with it. I think you could make a very strong case that that interview precipitated a sequence of events which ultimately put Princess Diana in the backseat of that Mercedes careering through Paris with a drunken driver and no proper protection. A 2021 investigation revealed the BBC secured the interview with Diana by feeding lies about the royal family and her inner circle, including her private secretary, Patrick Jeffson. Martin Bashir had persuaded her that I was not to be trusted, that I was being paid to spy on her, that I was working with her enemies, with her husband's camp. Terrible lies. If you look at the newspapers of the next day, the biggest headlines, her admission of her affair with James Hewitt, which was totally counterproductive, a terrible self-inflicted injury. While Diana wrote a letter to the BBC saying she had no regrets, her longtime butler, Paul Burrell, claimed she did. She said, I regretted speaking about my love for James Hewitt because I wondered how the boys would feel about that, and I wondered how it would affect them at school. Because that interview widened the gap between her and the royal family, the royal support system, I had felt forced to resign. I only now realized that she thought I was betraying her. At the time, I just thought she was being difficult, remote, distant. That was a relationship which had been very close over many years, all over the world, in good times and bad. Patrick took a legal action against the BBC, and in March, the network apologized and paid him substantial damages. The real sadness for me is that we never spoke again after I resigned, and that she died thinking that I had betrayed her.